Good morning, everyone. Nothing like donuts in the morning. So we are trying Stan's Donuts and coffee today. There were so many choices, it was so hard to decide. Uh, so we ended up getting a few donuts. Uh, we got blueberry old-fashioned, uh, buttercream filled, red velvet cake, uh, hazelnut filled, and uh, original glazed. The donuts here were actually pretty expensive. Uh, for standard ones like glazed or plain old-fashioned cake, um, those ones cost uh, $2.25 each. Uh, for those filled ones, like the ones filled with uh, hazelnuts or um, Biscoff, they cost $4.25 each. And there's a bunch of specialty donuts, like the Blueberry Old Fashioned that I got, that cost $3.25 each. So definitely adds up really fast. Um, I wish we could try more, but I don't think we can afford to try all the donuts today. So our next stop um, on day two of Chicago. We are here at the Lincoln Park Zoo um, from downtown Chicago where we were at the Stan's Donuts. Uh, this was about a uh, 20 or 25 minute uh, bus ride. So yeah, so not too bad. Um, the bus takes you pretty much directly here. And um, the Lincoln Park Zoo is free. Actually, it's uh, <laughs> one of the few free things you can do in Chicago. Um, yeah, because as you guys know, Chicago is a very expensive city. So it's really cool that they have this um, for everyone to enjoy. So today it's a beautiful, bright and sunny day here in Chicago. Definitely much warmer than yesterday. Uh, remember I had said to you guys that I can see why Chicago is labeled uh, the windy city. But today, definitely not windy. It's actually much warmer than I thought it'd be. I think I'm a little overdressed for today. It's actually a bit too warm in my jacket. Uh, but yeah, did you guys know that the Lincoln Park Zoo was actually founded in 1868? It is the fourth oldest zoo in North America. It's pretty crazy. I didn't think it was that old. I know you guys can't see them that well, but here we have some gorillas. They're all in the back of the cage. Yeah. I know you guys can't see them well, but there's camels back there um, resting in the shade from the sun. It's actually pretty warm here in this part of Chicago. Um, yeah, the, po the, <laughs> the uh, weather here has been kind of weird. Uh, cold and windy, then all of a sudden really warm and I'm sweating and then cold and windy. <laughs> so uh, weather's kind of weird here, um, kind of hard to know how to dress. So in this part of the zoo, we have a kangaroo. Um, yeah, so not as many here as in Bush Gardens. In Bush Gardens, they have a lot of kangaroos, but here we only have a one. It's a bit looks a bit lonely in the space. Here we have flamingos, uh, like at Bush Gardens. Uh, it's very busy at the zoo today. There's a lot of schools on field trips here. So it's kind of far away, but there's a red panda up there. 
really cute. It's uh, eating leaves. Up there in the cave is a snow leopard. It seems like a lot of the animals are hiding. It's a, I guess it's a little too hot for them uh, right now in Chicago. A lot of these animals are used to the cold. And it is afternoon, so it is nap time for cats. In the tank here, we have some young otters. I can't tell if they're fighting or playing with each other, but they're pretty cute. And here we have uh, parrots in Puerto Rico. Never knew Puerto Rico had parrots. And here we have some lions and uh, lion cubs. And they're all sleeping right now in the middle of the day. looks like it's lunchtime for all the animals. Um, in this cage, we have uh, more monkeys. Uh, both of them are eating uh, fruits of some sort or maybe some kind of uh, bread. I'm not really sure, uh, but it's about um, noon, about 12.30. So yeah, lunchtime for the animals too. I really love coming to zoos because I love seeing animals that you don't get to see in our everyday lives. I think it's really fun. Um, I know a lot of people say zoos are for little kids, but it's not true. I really enjoy seeing the animals. I love seeing uh, fish in the aquariums. It's one of my favorite things to do when I go to a new city. The only reason I don't really go to zoos more often is because uh, usually they cost a lot of money. And also my trips are quite short, so it's really hard to fit in a day at the zoo since going to the zoo usually takes um, at least a couple hours out of the day. the zoo we came back to downtown chicago and we're gonna try popcorn from the scarrett popcorn shops i see them everywhere so i think it's like a local popcorn shop so yeah i'm definitely excited to try it they have a few varieties uh cheese caramel pecan cashews butter spicy cheese corn so yeah definitely going to grab some and gotta try uh so it looks like it costs about Five dollars for a small bag, uh, depending what flavor you get. Um, could be cheaper if you get uh, butter or plain, but if you get those uh, fancy ones with pecan, their caramels or almond mix, it can cost up six dollars for a small bag. Yeah, oh, what to get? So from Garrett's, I actually decided to get a small bag of the mix, the most popular option, which is cheddar and caramel corn flavored. I'm really excited because they say it's fresh and they don't use any um, preservatives. It smelled really good. So definitely going to enjoy eating this on the plane later. So for lunch today, we are eating at one of our favorite places, Nando's. Uh, supposedly Nando's is a Portuguese and African kind of restaurant. Uh, they are famous for their grilled chicken. And what makes Nando's special um, is that you can actually decide how spicy you want the chicken. So if you want it just plain, you can ask them plain. If you want it to be like kind of mild spicy, uh, you can have the lemon and herb sauce that usually uh, my husband and I both like. Or if you like it spicy, you can have 
you can basically choose a level of spiciness. There are many, many spicy sauces. And every time we come here to Nando's, the food is always really fresh. Um, we decided to get a uh, whole chicken as well as um, a side of fries and a side of Portuguese rice. Uh, although this doesn't look anything like Portuguese rice, um, I've been to Portugal and it doesn't look anything like it, but it does taste really delicious. So I definitely recommend if you guys have Nando's in your area or if you're on vacation and see it, you definitely should give it a try. All right, so we are um, at the O'Hare Airport now. We are waiting for our flight back to Orlando. Um, yeah, lunch was amazing. Um, I love Nando's. Uh, the first time I had it was was in the UK um, in 2019 in London and I loved it. Definitely well worth the money. It is expensive, but it's really good. So I definitely recommend it if you guys are here in Chicago. They also have a few in Washington, D.C. Um, yeah, so that was really great. Um, always exciting to have um, to have things that I love to eat, especially in a new place that I've never been. Um, yeah, the Lincoln Park Zoo was great as well. Um, you know, it was a little bit small, but it was big for a free, for free zoo. I'm actually surprised that it's free. But it was a good time. We enjoyed seeing all the animals. Um, unfortunately, because of all the school field trips today, it was really, really crowded and really noisy. So um, maybe next time we'll come back and it'll be quiet. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, yeah, the uh, donuts this morning from Stan's Donuts um, were very unique, uh, very heavy. The blueberry old fashioned I had wasn't uh, so heavy. It just tasted like an old fashioned donut, but. I tried a bite of the uh, Nutella one and it was so heavy. It was so, um, had, it was like a yeast donut, very, very heavy. Um, the red velvet one was pretty good. It tasted like red velvet cake. Um, I didn't try um, the, the Boston cream one yet. Um, I'm actually saving it for uh, maybe on the plane for some dessert for a little snack, <laughs> but it looks really good. They were expensive though. Each donut was like anywhere from four to five dollars. So very expensive. Everything in Chicago is expensive, but um, it's a fun city. It's like New York. It's a good time. Um, you know, you come with, uh, you know, you come with uh, expectations that, you know, things are expensive. Um, so I had to move the spot because the alarm started to go off um, in that area that I just was. But yeah, so I was saying you come with the expect expectation that things are expensive in big cities, um, especially if you want to do tourist attractions like museums and aquariums, uh, as well as um, go see the musicals and eat out. But there are a lot of free things to do too, like the Lincoln Park Zoo. You can walk around the pier. You can enjoy the city, go to the river walk. There's amazing things to do in Chicago. Um, it was such a good trip and I can't wait to be back. So thank you everyone for watching and see you guys next time. Bye!